Such a burning desire that only a kiss can put out the fire. Them that's got shall get, them that's not shall lose. So the Bible says, and it still is news. Mama may Um, as a young girl, teenager, growing up here in Adelaide, listening to the radio, and I just went, oh, you know, because of the harmonies, the song, and I, I used to dream, oh, I want to, I want to do that. That's what I want to do, and and oh, I'd love to sing with these people. And the minute I got to Melbourne, Lisa Edwards, 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 Thank you, Lisa. Lisa Edwards, Lisa Edwards, I'm so happy doing the new John Dance. I'm just ready doing the new John Dance. Hi, this is Ronnie Charles from the group. Congratulations, Lisa. Well deserved. I always remember you recording They Don't Know with the Turbo Love Nuts back in the 80s. It was great fun. And many jingle sessions and things we did together. Congratulations. Why do you see her set? <laughs> it's... <laughs> I've seen it. What a great set, too. Yeah. A nice set, too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Lisa Edwards in the middle. What lovely hair you have. Why, thank you, Daryl. It's very, very... Is that your natural it colour? It's growing. Has... Yeah. It... Yes. <laughs> nah. Slight pause on that. Hi, Lisa. I'm so excited to be asked to contribute something on the occasion of your induction into the Hall of Fame for South Australian music. It's your home state. It's nice to be uh, known that your, your home state is behind you and they should be. It's very befitting that you be part of the Hall of Fame because your career has been stellar. You're such a great, great artist, but not just a great artist, but you're, you're a wonderful person. And that's why I'm doing this, because you were part of our Hey Hey family, I'd like to think, because when you would go back to, well, you know, Cry was the major single, but you did other solo performances on the show and you're one of the few people that can uh, can light up a studio when you walk in because you have this lovely smile you're a very caring person and that's what I and a lot of other people love about you and not many people can say that John Bla uh, uh, John Farnham was my backing singer you can say that because he was on one or two of your singles and of course you've been supporting uh, John's work for many, many years. It sounds like a charity, doesn't it? Uh, you, you have been a wonderful uh, backup support to John's uh, almost uh, all, the, all the second half of his career, since Whispering Jack, and, anyway. And it's delightful that you are being recognised. And, and I guess with the Hall of Fame, people could think that, uh, uh, gee, the career must have come to an end now, so you get the Hall of Fame award. But I think your career will go on for many, many more years because you are a true artist. 
Maybe you got your talent from your dad. I know he played jazz piano. So that meant that you were open to influences, influences like um, Ella Fitzgerald and Billie Holiday, a lot of the great jazz female vocalists and performers. And that means that you can get up on stage and you can perform any genre at all because you just have that inherent talent. And uh, anyway, I, I, I don't need to wrap it on any, any further, but uh, congratulations, Lisa, and uh, may uh, this be um, uh, uh, this, this State Hall of Fame, but then I think all the other states should claim you as well because you're just absolutely wonderful and, and uh, with many more years of performing to come. Congratulations. We've had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs on the road. We've worked with some wonderful people. John's a beautiful guy to work with and, and incredible to sing with. They are two of the most respected session singers in the country. Give us a bit of cross mixing. Lindsay's the brown rice hairy legs. He's, he's good fun. One, two. This is one of the joys of my life, musically. They breathe at the same time I breathe. They watch me, I can do anything. And I know that they're gonna be right there with me. It's an amazing feeling. Hey Lisa, congratulations on being inducted into the South Australian Music Hall of Fame. Great achievement for you. You've been a much a part of our lives now for many, many years. Being part of the John Farnham Band right from the word go, right from Whispering Jack days through to the main event with the Living Newton John to all of our major tours that we've done for so long now. You very much deserve to be a part of it. You're a great singer and you're a great talent and you so deserve to be inducted into the South Australian Music Hall of Fame. Big night for you. Congrats. I've got the devil in me tonight, I'll tell you. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, he's he's a great person. He really is. He's a great human being, fantastic family man. Um, he just loves what he's doing, and he, and now, even now, all the young kids that have finally come in, and they just they're looking up to him. Hero, you know, he's a legend. The touch of your hand <laughs> You take me <laughs> Let me go <laughs> Hang on a minute <laughs> No, no <laughs> Get off. Right. <laughs> Lisa has been in the music business since she was seven years old. She spent most of her career singing jingles for advertisements, entertaining in pubs, and singing backing vocals with bands like Wendy and the Rockets and Noiseworks. After 15 years of supporting the stars, Lisa has decided to go it alone. So is that your ambition, to be a star? Yes. Yeah, it is. It is. And action! <laughs> Oh, no. 
Lisa Edwards, ladies and gentlemen. I just love what I do, whether I'm singing behind the curtain, on side of stage or in front of it. And I've done all of it.